Good morning, Ark. Uh, for those of you who haven't met me or don't know who I am, uh, my name is Austin Fleming. I'm actually Jim Fleming's son. And uh, I'm coming to you this morning from a little bit outside of Memphis, Tennessee, to talk to you about a gift that God saw fit to give me back in about June of 2010. My physicians at that time were telling me that I wasn't feeling run down and fatigued and unwell because I had another sinus infection or the flu. I was all of those things because I had cancer. Um, at that moment, there was an 11 centimeter tumor crammed in between uh, my sternum, my lungs, and my heart. And they were telling me that it was Hodgkin's lymphoma about stage two. And, um, you know, that was gonna mean some things for me uh, in the immediate aftermath of that diagnosis. There was gonna be chemo and radiation and uh, certainly a reset schedule in terms of what I had planned for sitting for the bar exam and entering private practice. Nevertheless, uh, I can definitely say that over the course of the last nine years, there have been numerous gifts that God has given to me through that experience on its heels in its aftermath. In the run-up to graduation from law school, I had purchased a health insurance policy to cover the gap uh, between what I anticipated would be graduation and gainful employment. And it so happened that that health insurance company reneged on all of my claims for the roughly $200,000 worth of treatment that I got from my doctors. And by the grace of God, uh, all of those bills were paid despite that they didn't cover any of the claims. Um, without bankruptcy for me, without my parents taking a second mortgage, God provided new money to pay those bills in full. Um, one of the other things at a material level that happened that I'm still profoundly grateful for, um, after chemo and radiation, my doctors were of the opinion that my bone marrow was, for lack of a better term, broken. Um, it was not manufacturing a certain kind of cell that it really needed to for me to have a normal life afterwards. And um, their opinion was that they needed to intervene surgically and that that surgery might fix the problem, but for certain, would entail all kinds of life-changing, permanent, inalterable side effects. I really did not want that. Actually, that was one of my main fears. I was okay if God wanted to take me home, but I didn't want to stay alive and be broken. So I and my mom and dad and some people from our church, we got together and we prayed. And um, I want to say that was maybe a week at most, it was a week before that surgery. At, at least, it was 24 hours. But when I reported into the hospital for that surgery, they did some more blood work and the doctors came back and said, we don't have to have this procedure done. Your, your counts have gone back to normal. And that was an absolute miracle. There was no way that, um, you know, the, that the chemistry could have improved by as much as it did in the time that it did. Um, I would also say at a spiritual level, because of the fact that I had to go get treated in Memphis, Tennessee and really wasn't equipped to support myself during that time, I had to go and live with my folks. But if I hadn't done that, I wouldn't have enjoyed the tremendously enriching season of learning, studying, and discussing the scriptures with my mom and my dad during that time. Uh, it's kind of turned into a family joke. We say that I've um, attended at the school of Gamaliel because I've benefited from my dad's immense knowledge about, and as he continues to learn, new finds from the scriptures, uh, from his own personal study. Um, so there have been all these tremendous enriching blessings that I have reaped because of an event that I wouldn't have chosen for myself. Um, and this is where I'll leave things. I can say, without a doubt, I can reflect on all the ways that God has gone to bat for me and I can say the sum total of it is, whatever confidence I had in God's character beforehand, whatever confidence I had in His sovereignty beforehand, those things have been strengthened and bolstered by this immense experience of all the different ways that he has come through for me, cared for me, uh, moved me forward. 
And uh, I'm so grateful, not only for the sustaining itself, but for the confidence in him as a good father uh, that that track record instills in me. Thanks for your time.